Friends of Zion is, is really unique in representing, through a beautiful museum and all the philanthropic work that you do, really representing the best of the evangelical world in Israel. It's that bridge that helps to connect the evangelical community in America and throughout the world to the Israelis. And so the Israelis, without leaving the country, can come here and feel the love and the support of the evangelical community and also understand the history of how, you know, you know, Christian Zionism goes back to the, you know, the middle or early parts of the 19th century and was so instrumental in, in helping uh, America develop its rock solid relationship with Israel. So, um, you know, we, we, we used to bring uh, dignitaries here all the time. We used to bring members of Congress, uh, heads of state, they used to come here and, and it kind of closed the circle. It enabled everybody to understand why we are here today and understand really the partnership between Christian Zionists, Jewish Zionists, Israelis, it all comes full circle. And it, it lets the Israeli people know that they're not alone. It gives them hope. It gives them obviously very necessary sustenance. It, it's, it's a big hug. It's a big hug from the Christian community to the Jewish community and to the Israeli community. And again, to understand this in context, Israelis right now are feeling very isolated because you know, not only did they suffer this massive trauma, but they, that, that trauma is not, not only is it, is it not being sympathized with in the world, it's being celebrated by the whole world, by the United Nations. You know, there's never been a single UN Security Council resolution that has ever condemned Hamas. It gets vetoed by Russia or by China. I mean, so they watch this and they say, you know, we're really alone. And then you come along and say, no, you're not alone. There are people that love you, that support you, that want to help you. And it's incredibly important.